The State of the Union was this week, and things got spicy. Before the event, Marjorie Taylor Greene decided to walk around Congress with a balloon because something, something Chinese by balloon? Unfortunately, her fellow representative, Lauren Boebert, shot it down. Now, there was a colorful cast of characters at this State of the Union, like the aforementioned MTG, seen here ordering an apres ski at the Lodge Bar, Kirsten Cinema, seen here in stealth mode, and Kevin McCarthy, who is ready to turn this car around if you kids can't behave. But no one is talking about my two favorite characters of the night. These two! Look at how deeply awkward and weird this is! They look more uncomfortable than Kevin McCarthy when you ask him about George Santos' sexual harassment allegations. And speaking of our most favorite congressperson comedy-wise and our least favorite congressperson ethics-wise, George Santos started off the State of the Union with a stern talking to from Uncle Mitt. <laughs> it was so refreshing to see a Republican call out George Santos that cold watermelon on a summer's day is suing for copyright infringement. Joe Biden delivered a pretty good speech and, frankly, got a little sassy. And if you're wondering where all that sassiness came from, it turns out these were his speechwriters. Afterwards, Sarah Huckabee Sanders gave the GOP rebuttal and said, with no irony whatsoever, that Americans had a choice between normal and crazy. Every day we are told we must partake in their rituals, salute their flags, and worship their false idols. Yeah, that was a super normal thing to say. Also, Sarah, just checking real quick. So the people that want insulin to be affordable, they are the crazy ones. Do I have that right? Got it. It's early February and a presidential primary year, and that means we're all waiting to see if the orange groundhog, and I mean Trump, of course, comes out of his bathroom burrow at 3 a.m. and posts about his opponent being a pedophile. Oh, and looks like he did. Trump posted a 20-year-old photo of Florida Governor Ron DeSantis with high school girls and suggested DeSantis was grooming them. Now, by tradition, this means that there will be 12 more months of Trump shitposting about DeSantis. Had Trump not posted, there would still be 12 more months of Trump shitposting, but not necessarily about DeSantis. It's always a win-win with that guy. The Koch brothers are done with Trump, and they have decided to back a different horse in the next presidential election. The twin fangs of wealth and privilege want a new candidate to help heal the division that they helped create in the country. And they are just the right men to buy the men to do it. The Super Bowl is coming up this weekend, but what should you bring to the big game potluck? Our own Chef Austin has the answer. Hi, welcome to the Phoenix Kitchen. I'm your host, Chef Austin, and I am going to reveal to you the secret, scientifically proven, to what is the best thing to bring to a potluck. Should you bring chicken wings? No, don't bring no chicken wings. If you do that, everyone's gonna be vegan. Chips and hummus? People are gonna look at you for bringing weird food. Weird food! Don't bring chips and hummus. Corn chips and salsa? I mean, that's a pretty standard one, right? But I guarantee you the host is already doing it. And they've already got a can of cheese to smear all over that too. Don't be the guy that brings what the host brings, no. You don't wanna make something because you'll pour your heart and soul into it, five people will love it, 50 people will think it's freaky food and won't touch it, and you'll have wasted a whole night making individually wrapped wontons like a jerk. Science has given us the answer, thankfully. And the answer is simple. Shrimp ring. Bring a shrimp ring. Everyone loves shrimp, except for some people, but screw them, and it comes with its own sauce. You go, you buy it, you thaw it, you bring it, you put it out, it gets eaten, and you go home without anything to take with you. Shrimp ring. That's it. That's the answer. Now you know. You know those ads that promote Jesus for some reason? Well, there's about to be a new one for the Super Bowl that costs $20 million. <laughs> and I think we all know that if Jesus had 20 million smackers to blow, the very first thing he'd do is buy up some ad space, am I right? AMC is going to change the prices of its movie tickets based on where you sit. The cheap seats will be up front, but the most expensive seats will be in the back row's hand job section. No word yet on whether you'll be charged less for sitting next to an aggressive armrest hogger or a toddler who won't shut up. Who brings their toddler to see Magic Mike? Google has announced its own chatbot named Bar to compete with ChatGPT. Meanwhile, Microsoft is putting ChatGPT into all its products. Clippy Deluxe, here we come! 
Here at the Friday Phoenix, we actually prefer cat GPT. What is the meaning of life? Embattled crypto company FTX is frantically trying to get politicians to return $90 million of political donations. Asking for political donations to be returned is the first legal method to generate revenue that the company has ever tried. Unfortunately, though, the donations were made in their own cryptocurrency, so that $90 million is now valued at just under 30 cents. Good news for the internet's 14th largest porn site, as Twitter CEO Elon Musk announced that his pet project is on track to break even after it made exactly one payment on its debt. In similar news, I've called my credit card company to assure them I'm good for the other 10 grand after making my $36 minimum monthly payment. Anyone want to go shopping? Videos surfaced on TikTok of people licking sushi at conveyor belt sushi bars in Japan. The notoriously clean Japanese were horrified, until we told them about gas station sushi. And finally tonight, New Zealand police have found three and a half tons of cocaine in the Pacific Ocean. They got suspicious when all the fish in the area suddenly got really great ideas. Big ideas, gonna change everything. Check out our new podcast, A Very Special Relationship, out on Spotify now. That wraps up this week's Friday Phoenix. Don't forget to subscribe.